Well, I make art because it's the only thing that makes me happy, and it makes me so happy that um, in comparison, anything, anything else I do just pales, so that I feel like it's a driving force for me on an individual level, but also I feel that um, artists do have something in part to the world that can make the world a better place, so it's not only self-serving, but that um, art can make this place a little bit more beautiful a little bit more, a uh, nicer place to be in. And um, in thinking about a project for New Plymouth and Gilbert Brewster, I was um, leading up to this week. It has been, actually since the last time I was here in May, it has been a, an incredibly busy time of life for me. Just so much going on. Very blessed that I'm just working and traveling a whole lot, but to the point that um, I just, didn't have all the time in the world to do everything I wanted to do. So leading up to the project, I really wanted to do something that um, had to do with the trickster god Maui from the Maori tradition, because I responded to him immediately that um, the first time I came and visited the area. But in thinking about doing something, I, I um, was really struck by the, uh, the legend of him capturing the setting sun so that his mother will have more hours in the day to work. And that really had a resonance because as I was putting together a proposal thinking, you know, I knew I wanted to work with this figure and somehow engage the community, but then also, and the, you know, the history, but also has, that has something to do with today's time and what I'm going through and the way we live. And it was just, I kept saying, oh, if only I have three more hours in a day, if only I have three more hours, I can do everything I want to do. So that just kind of really fit together one day, just kind of came together. So I thought, how great would it be if on a cloud one day we're chanting and we can summon the spirit of Maui and he could come and see if he could capture the setting sun for us, for me, <laughs> that we can just have a little more time in the day to finish everything we want to. Hence the project. And um, so it looks like with the, everything is going um, according to plan with the beautiful sky that we've had all week. I really hope that um, we'll see him tomorrow night. And the work is actually projecting an image of Maui on a smoke cloud. And the work is quite ephemeral. It's very weather dependent. And actually, that's why I find it so interesting to work with this medium, because um, it's not something you would just see a, on a movie screen. It, there's some magical quality to it that it just appears almost out of, as if it's in thin, out of thin air, and that it goes away as fickle as it comes. And it's not something we can guarantee, which sometimes is an issue because a lot of people put a lot of time and effort and energy and money into this, and we want to have a certain result. But at the same time, as a pure art experience, ephemeral quality is also the power in the work, that we can't summon things just because we want it like that, but that it comes the world and life has a way of its own rhythm. It comes and goes as um, it needs to be, whether we like it or not. So I think we do everything we can. The whole gallery team has been so fantastic. We're doing everything we can to summon this figure. But whether it comes or not is something that at one point you just have to let go of control of that. And the figure of Maui that I'm particularly attracted to is because I've been working with this trickster figure in ancient society, in older cultures. It started out with the Monkey King that I first did over Tiananmen Square in Beijing, actually during the Olympics, because I just felt this very, very rebellious streak. And then later on, uh, the Monkey King went to the West, <laughs> came, went to Sydney. And uh, he also played a, continued to play this trickster role, but in a different way, more of in, I really saw that as an artist, the role artist could have in society, perhaps pushing the boundaries, um, putting everything just to the left of where it needs to be, um, breaking the rules, 
but also making us see things from a different perspective that we normally wouldn't. So that's a parallel that I find that a role that artists could play in society as a trickster god, a figure trickster, will play in a very hierarchical traditional society. So that's, um, I felt very drawn to Maui from the very beginning. And it's been a really fantastic honor and joy to work with him because he just has so much character and there's so much cheekiness to him. Uh, I really can't wait to see him tomorrow or tonight on the test. <laughs>